how was your practice schedule like the lectures are good so i usually watch the recording with us you used to solve problems on your phone when you were in college so around 4000 plus problems implementation is something that we can do so hey guys today we have kunal with us kunal was one of the students in tle 10.0 level 4 so we we'll, let's see what journey kunal has been through he's currently expert on code forces which is really amazing so let's hear about kunal yes kunal tell us about yourself so hello everyone my name is kunal shah i am from netaji subhash engineering college which is located in kolkata so talking about my cp journey so i have my computer science background from class 12 itself in python and in college i started coding usually in hacker rank so it was a basic platform for all beginners then the main journey starts from the second year the second year i have made account in code chef code forces and lead code and uh, start participating in contest and all and start problem solving daily on daily basis so i so till now i have been solve around 4000 plus problems and i am expert at code forces and uh, touching gargen soon uh, 1015 plus rating and uh, and now i am interning at gigix for gigs which i got uh, during the course that i bought from that do not bought that i have got from really as a free slot so one of the interesting things is that priyansh believes in giving back to the community so we have this concept of free slots and i think you were one of the people who was given the free slots so yes. how was your experience at tle so far so uh, i i was enrolled in the free slot i think on, on the date 30 march and uh, the level 4 course was a uh, few months or three months starting with we have covered with uh, dp graph segment and all so the lectures are good the the editorials are very good that uh, means after questions after every questions the there is a video section if you can't solve that uh, problem you can refer that video so i have watched that video a little bit more and in many tough problems and apart from all that i, I don't watch the live batch right because uh, that time frame that does not match with me my time reference so i usually watch the recording videos and the main good thing about tle is the doubt support which i used to take very much uh, from tle so one interesting thing that you mentioned is that you didn't really get time to attend the live classes so you used mm. to attend them later right because yes, uh, yes. the recordings were provided for all the lectures so how was your practice schedule like how how did you go about going to code forces during this time did you solve the practice problems and at what point did you ask doubts to our mentors and did it get resolved did it not get resolved how was it so after after watching a particular video i used to means solve the practice problem for the practice problem i don't uh, even ask the mentors about the doubt because the uh, each practice problem has his has its own uh, video provided so so the for that the mentors are not required but but apart from that the questions that were from uh, uh could forces and has a level from 1800 to or more i asked uh, in doubt support and it was uh, really good uh, help support from the tle apart from all that uh, uh, let's suppose i am giving an oa and in the oa i uh, i couldn't solve but after the oa after 24 hours of completion of oa i i give that problem to the doubt support and they usually help me a lot in this understanding what i am going wrong with the problem or how it is not solved by me during the oa yeah that makes a lot of sense so one rule we have at tle is that if you post one of the doubts and it does not have a problem link to avoid plagiarism we answer it after a day just mm-hmm. to make sure that it's not from any ongoing contest and yes. i think it's held great we've not really been through that but yes speaking about this you were i think uh, around specialist when you started yes, then yes. you reached expert what changed what helped you get to expert right what and what topics would you recommend to people aspiring to get to expert see uh, before before joining tele and uh, when i was suffering in the specialist part i i sometimes sometimes i usually solve two question but in this in two contest i get to solve three but after after getting a, the course and uh, and and getting the commanding more on dp and the graphs not in the third question graph usually don't come more 
but dp sometimes deep not sometimes usually dp comes in every contest in in every after uh, one two to the contest so the dp part i get stronger and uh, i i get uh, i get test with the expert then then after several after one contest i i get dropped then i uh, again get to expert so this was and i was i'm telling uh, to get expert what are the topic required so this till second question simple gd and all will be enough simple gd has map and uh, all the simple topics not not more binary search simple and but uh, to get expert you have to solve the three problems more faster to get expert so the three problem to solve faster the three problem you have you should be good in constructive you should be good in dp and uh, advanced binary search and uh, and little bit sometimes sometimes little, little bit of graphs and good mathematics and these all there are many topics too but if i should tell uh, if i could tell everything so it will take much time so these are the main topics that everyone should cover to yeah. get to yeah that is true that is actually true uh, nowadays the third problem in code forces itself has dynamic programming it usually wasn't the case but now uh, since more people are joining in it's becoming more tougher these days to get to expert and even tougher to get to candidate master and all of that mm -hmm. so yes uh, dynamic programming constructive binary research on answer all of these topics are really important so currently you are in which year of college i currently i am in fourth year i have just crossed my third year and in 2025 my batch so in the fourth year okay so what was your daily schedule like let's let's hear about that right what what would, yeah. what did you used to from, from the from the second year or from the third year when i got the daily course uh from the second year your entire journey yes. right so from the second year it was very means challenging not not challenging i, I will not use the word challenging because problem problem was the, easy if you have a habit good habit and if you take it as a game so uh, i have solved around 4000 plus solving so those 4000 plus problem so i used to do uh, i used to take a lead word problem uh, in college itself and solve it using mobile phone and all and my uh, i am a day scholar so i usually travel okay. to a train and all so in in between i also see the questions and what i think approach in my mind and in the college i also saw me and my one one more friend i had amran we we both were solving the problems on the lead code and all in the college itself after coming back to college we use we come, sometimes we come back from college at 3 pm sometimes 6 or 7 after coming back from college we usually give contest on uh, cf or cc course of course courses or sometimes uh, bi weekly lead code and all this uh, uh, means using this schedule my second year passed and then i i made some coming in third year i started uh, i started uh, means exploring an internship so i've got ex internship in cs for all first in internship and then arc senior after arc senior i have uh, got in hey coach so i, I was busy in that all so uh, after hey coach i also applied for tla as a mentor when i was a specialist okay right. but uh, at that point of I, I, time i i don't get in, don't shortlisted from there so after okay. after getting expert, expert i applied to gfg through as a problem set intern and now i am currently interning at gfg as well as giving the preparing for interviews that in the fourth year i a person should do yeah so one of the really interesting things and i think inspiring things and one thing that students should take from this video is that you used to solve problems on your phone when you were in college and then yes. you used to get back and uh, give contests that's actually really amazing uh, to see this kind of dedication i think one of the most important things in any competitive programmer's journey is their dedication to improve mm -hmm. right because these small things when people don't really do this right people are like i should solve only three problems a day or something like that but then we always see that the people who are doing good they do it out of their heart they don't do it for for some other purpose right they just like doing it so they eventually do do it 
from so from that is really side, yes yes uh, from my side it, uh, in second year there, there was no restriction in problem, number of problems a day <laughs> we, we can we could solve a 10 problems a day or even uh, 12 to 15 uh, in some days but in the second year we usually solve 10 problems a day it was a normal for us and uh, but now as we as we grown up and in the third year we as as we have covered all the concepts solving medium and e medium level will not help us so now we are focusing on some advanced level in that case we are uh, the number become less and the quality becomes more so this is okay yeah that is actually quite interesting and uh, i have a question for you right you yes. mentioned that you used to practice problems mm -hmm. did you practice from the daily practice problems that were provided to you and did you do anything apart from that uh, what else did you do apart from the daily practice problems so, so the daily practice problem of uh, daily is means, means well curated is the if, if i am solving a, a dp dp question so in the in the dp section there are three sections dp beginner intermediate and advanced and then after advanced they, we have digit dp section also yeah so if uh, if someone uh, solve that whole part someone solve that whole part plus uh, plus some cscs questions and some lead code questions the dp portion will completely be covered i, I can bet on it that uh, the daily daily part and the cscs and some uh, means lead code problems which which hard or medium that then the dp portion will be easily covered apart from dp the uh, the graphs and the segmentary that in, in the segmentary the generic segmentary one was i uh, i found the more fascinating because uh, before that i i i know about segmentary but uh, uh, using that same template and applying to all others what a good one so i i saved that template and will be uh, Will now we? Uh, I used to apply after that also, and will be applying in the future too. Yeah. So one of the interesting things is that we also share templates. So mm -hmm. one of the things that I was really proud of, I had, I have some really cool templates. So after a class, while a class I'm teaching, I share those templates with the students and kind of to enjoy that. And one of the interesting things that you mentioned is generic segmentary. Uh, I also did not know that segment trees can be just generalized and then you just have to focus on the combined function and all of that. Yes. So yeah, the things that you mentioned do take, take me back to the time when I was learning all of this also. It's really fascinating how these things actually work. So how did you find the video uh, solutions? Video solutions of particular questions of the practice problem. And when did you and when did you go about seeing these video solutions? And did you I see see. them often? Did you not see them? Uh, means my uh, I I usually work. Uh, I I usually watch the video solutions when uh, when after giving thirty minutes or forty minutes to a particular question, I couldn't think the approach. If if I couldn't think about the approach, I usually watch the first ten minutes. You see the watch the instructor is telling. Means if. If after watching the first ten minutes, if I get the thought, means implementation is something that we can do, but what the what in which direction we should think uh, for solving that question is the main thing. So sometimes I usually watch ten to fifteen ten minutes of the starting video, but in in some advanced question, let's say it has eighteen to ninety ninety hundred, and or 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 upper than that. I use I used to have the whole part till till the code in which not shows means from the intuition till explaining and then I have to I used to miswrite the code on my own. That makes a lot of sense. I think if someone has joined TLE or in general is looking for how to practice, I think this is a good approach. You give it your own time first, and then if you are not able to solve it for like forty minutes, fifty minutes, then you can ask for hints or you can use the video solution. Now, one of the last things that I want to ask you, Kunal, is that let's say someone is watching this video and they want to be like, hey, I want to be an expert like Kunal. Mm -hmm. What should they do? See, if uh, if uh, if they have uh, money, then I, I will be telling that if you purely want to do CP, then there will be no good, means no good thing uh, to get a course like TLE. Because not only the 
means, means not only the the course that they provide but also the doubt support is the main thing and if you join it you will be you will be meeting with all other like minded people that who used to do cp who 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 are serious about it so these three points are the main thing the the doubt support and the like minded people that we have got so they, that's all and i think uh, if if i don't means I, if i don't got the free free slot then uh, and i would stuck in the uh, the part where the specialist part in future i could get the the course with paying the money but but thanks to pyank sir for giving this for free <laughs> as it yeah. helped it a lot a lot so for people watching the video if you guys can afford it you check out our course if you can't unfortunately right uh, we like it's very understandable that all of us are just students and it's not possible for everyone to get the course you can feel free to fill up the form in the description we will be handing out courses to the needy ones and we hope we are able to spread the love for competitive programming in the community thanks a lot for kunal for doing this right and uh, i hope people get inspired by seeing your journey and hopefully we also see a lot of your achievements to come as well we are looking up for your journey and thanks a lot for doing this see you guys next time bye bye thank you